Hello, happy Monday. Just going to go live before I get started, live in all the places. Here we go. Happy Monday. Let me know if you can hear me and see me and all the things. Okay. I am so excited today We for this week's Monday morning style session. Um, give me a shout. Let me know if you're watching me live and if all the tech is working. Um, we're going to talk about how to know whether something in your wardrobe is modern or dated and also how to know whether something you're considering bringing into your wardrobe is modern or dated. So first of all, shout out to Vonda for fixing my hair. I'm super happy with my new cut. It's always an adjustment, always an adjustment um, to, hey, can you hear me? Awesome. Yay. Good to see you guys. Um, okay. Always an adjustment to get your hair cut, but I, I'm, I'm loving this. I feel like I have a little bit more volume. It feels a little less like this. So, okay. So Monday morning style session, we're going to talk about how to know whether something in your wardrobe is modern or dated or whether you're the thing that you're considering buying is modern or dated. So the first clue is that the item is, if it's already in your wardrobe, it's, more than five years old. If it's more than five years old, there's a chance that it's dated. Um, but we're going to filter down, right? We're going to start with all the stuff in your wardrobe and say you're doing a closet edit or you're looking at everything um, and you're, you're, you're trying to purge and maybe just make the best choices out of what you've got in your, in your wardrobe. The first question to ask yourself is, is this item more than five years old? Okay, so that's a clue that it might be dated. It does not mean it is dated. It's just a clue. The second question to ask yourself is, if it is more than five years old, is it a statement piece or a staple piece? Is it a basic or a statement piece? So remember, my the mantra that I want you all to remember is that details date. Details are what date an item. The simpler the item, the less dated it is likely to become and the less quickly it will become dated. So a statement piece from more than five plus years ago has much higher percentage of becoming dated than a staple or basic piece from five years ago. That said, we know that even every 10 years, every five years, even the, the, the staple pieces look a little bit different. But the simpler an item is, the less likely it is to get dated. So that's the second question you're going to ask yourself. Is this a statement item or is it a staple item? Is it a basic item? How do you know if something is a basic or a statement? So it's the, the level of detail that the item has. So uh, for example, if you're looking at a black t-shirt, if the black t-shirt has a very simple cut and very simple black t-shirt material, and there's not a lot going on with a black t-shirt. It's just what you would consider a very simple black t-shirt. It has no embellishments, has no printing on it. It has no motif of any kind. It is not a, a funky fabric. It's not a funky shape. It doesn't have shoulder pads. It doesn't have puffed sleeves. It doesn't have ruching. It doesn't have, um, it doesn't have a, an interesting neckline or statement neckline. It's not backless. It doesn't have ties or um, or or you know strings hanging off of it. It is a, a, a simple cotton jersey knit material or rib knit material. Then then you found a basic T-shirt, right? If it's got any of those details on it that I mentioned, if it's got embroidery, if it's got a printed motif on the front of it, it if it's got, you know, a ruching or gathering or ties or a puff sleeve or um, a, a shoulder pad or a, it's a muscle tee or it's, um, you know, a, a got a raglan sleeve or a dolman sleeve or any of those other things, then it is not a basic. So that's how you know the difference. The more details, the more the more interesting elements are on an item, the more that item goes into statement territory and not into basic territory. So, you know, it, it is a continuum, right? It's not 
you know, some things are definitely basics and things, some things are definitely statements. There are things that fall along the, uh, along the way. So the more details that you've got on an item, the more likely it is to get dated. So that's the, the second question to ask yourself. Okay. So we, we have, is it more than five years old? And the second question is, is it a statement or a staple piece? The third question to ask yourself as a, as a quick follow-up to if you discover that the item is more than five years old and it is a statement piece, the next question to ask yourself would be, is this a personality piece? For example, I have a De Seguel dress in my wardrobe um, that I have had for, I want to say almost 10 years. That dress is never going anywhere. I mean, I maybe maybe my taste will will substantially change at some point, or maybe I won't find it flattering at some point. But I will never purge it because it's dated, because it is such a personality piece. Not only does it have my entire color palette on it, and the colors are perfect for me, and it's very flattering on me, but it's a piece that if someone was to say, "Show me your style in a dress," I would hold up that dress. So. Personality pieces are pieces that are just very in, 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 like intrinsic to your style and very fundamental to your style, and they are so you. Personality pieces are state, can often be statement pieces. If you've got that type, of, depending on your personal style, a personality piece can be a statement piece, but it's because it's such a part of your personal style, it does not date. They will never date. Now, if you've got minimal personal style, then your your personality pieces are going to be more minimal pieces. That's not my personal style. So my personality pieces are statement pieces. And because they are my personality pieces, they do not date. They do not date. So that's, you know, this is this is kind of the checklist that I'm taking you down, right? We start, is it more than five years old? Second, is it a staple piece or a statement piece? Third, if it's a statement piece and it's over five years old, is that piece a personality piece? The fourth question to ask yourself is, is it from an over 40, over 50 brand? You guys know the brands I'm talking about. They're the brands I've been um, talking about the last couple of days on social media. But yesterday and this morning, I posted pictures of two dresses. They're both from the same site both from the same brand, both have the same color palette. In some cases, they might even have the same model. I don't know. But one is modern and one is dated. Now, spoiler, the, the dress on the left in both examples just kind of worked out that way. I did not actually plan that. The dress on the left in both examples was the more modern version. And, and both of those dresses are actually beautiful dresses. The dress on the right in both examples are dresses I would pass on because they are more dated. Now, th the problem is that dated clothes are currently being sold in stores, which stinks because I can't tell you, well, if you buy something new, it won't be dated. That's not necessarily the truth because some silhouettes that really and, and somebody said in the comments underneath one of the one of the you know one of the examples that I showed he said, Oh, I wore that when I graduated from college and started working back in 2007. So if a silhouette has been around a really long time and it doesn't, it's not really a classic, then um, chances are that is a dated silhouette. They continue to sell those items for women over 40, over 50, over 60, because we continue to buy them, right? So if we don't want those items to um, to, to drag down our style and, and make our, our, our outfits look out of style, then we need to stop buying the items in, in those stores that are dated. And you can find them in a variety of places. I'm looking at you, wimpy cardigans that match dresses that have little ties in the front. Like, you know what I'm talking about? The dress that comes with a little matching cardigan, wimpy little matching cardigan with, with the, that ties at the waist and the front. That's not that has not been in style in a, in a long time. So they're still selling those things though. So this is why it's, it's, it's beyond, you know, how long an item has been in your wardrobe. So we want to look at when we're looking at an item and we just want to, to decide whether that item is worth bringing into our wardrobes or not. Um, the key is to train your eye. The key is to train your eye. And the way that you do that is you go to your favorite department store website and you filter by contemporary. And you look at what the contemporary brands are offering. Um, and by contemporary brands, I'm talking about Veronica Beard, Free People, I mean Bing, um, Vince, um, uh, gosh, there are so many of them. And of course, I'm like Nelly Laton. Um, any of the 
the like love shack fancy it's really going to depend on your personal style theory um these are brands that have rag and bone frame a uh, mother these are brands that have really modern styles farm rio you know my favorite um and so when you look at them and you spend 10, 15 minutes per season, you know, I mean, before you go shopping online, before you start shopping online, just spend 10 to 15 minutes scrolling through the contemporary section of your favorite department store's website, because you are going to start seeing, okay, this is what's happening in style right now. And then if you go over to maybe you're, you're planning on shopping at an over 40 or over 50 retailer. There's nothing wrong with that. They have lots of cute stuff, but they also have lots of not cute stuff. And it's true of department stores as well. It's true of every store. But department stores, if you filter by contemporary, you will get contemporary. So then you can go to whatever your favorite store is, and your eye is going to be adjusted, and you're going to be able to make the best choices from a brand that fits your budget, fits your lifestyle, fits your size, all of the things, right? So fortunately, it has become harder and harder and harder to find dated pieces, even in the over 40, over 50 stores. Um, I have to look a little harder, which is great because I will say that they are really doing a great job of offering a lot more contemporary options. But we need to be able to decide and, and, and be able to tell by looking at something whether it's going to fall into a classic category or, you know, a, a modern category, sorry, or a dated category. So just want to recap really quickly. This is something that we should all be doing every couple of years like if you're if you're feeling like you're you're kind of stuck in your style if you're feeling like your closet is overwhelming my suggestion would be besides going through my reverse closet edit and wardrobe building boot camp which really will will talk you step by step through this process and you can you can get to it at netamanley.com slash boot camp but if you're really like okay i don't know what is modern and what is dated in my wardrobe i would say the first thing you do is you identify the essentials in your wardrobe you pull out the pieces that are really the most basic basics the pieces that are the simplest the pieces that that can serve as the workhorse pieces or the backbone pieces of your wardrobe. The second step would be to identify the statements. And that's usually what's going to be left over after you pull out the essentials. The rest are going to be statements. And then you want to ask yourself, are these are any of these personality pieces? Those are going to go into your with the essentials because those are never going to be purged, right? And then you're going to look at the rest of the statements and you're going to ask yourself, is this dated? Is it more than five years old? Did I buy it at an over 50 store? Do the details on this item match the details on the, you know, Nordstrom's contemporary section or Bloomingdale's contemporary section? And that's really how you're going to filter through your closet and really pick the pieces that are going to feel and look the most modern now. So I hope that was helpful. We want to continue and I'm going to continue to share examples of modern versus dated. You guys have done a really good job of of figuring out what is modern and what is dated out of the things that I'm sharing. And I'm, I'm they're going to get harder. They're going to get harder. There is going to be a pop quiz and it's going to get harder. So um, let me know. And, and what I would encourage you to do, if you're not already a Netta Manley style VIP um, or my Closet Confidence group, I do have the upcoming Closet Confidence workshop series. We're going to be covering this in depth in that series. It starts May 13th. I know that feels like a long way off. It's really right around the corner. And we're going to be talking about all of this stuff in the weeks leading up to it in the Closet Confidence confidence Facebook group. You can also join the Netta Manley Style VIP Facebook group. And I, my encouragement is always to check with me. Post something in one of those Facebook groups. Tag me in that post and I will let you know. I'll give you a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I'll let you know whether it is modern or it's dated because I, you know, I want you to have that wardrobe that makes you feel confident. And often the problem, and this is really where I'm coming from with this, the problem with dated clothes is that th there's a difference between dressing down and not feeling great in your clothes because you're super, super casual and you didn't bother to get ready that day. That's one thing. It's another thing to get dressed up and to feel and, and to be trying to, to, to do all the things and still not feel cute. That is the result of dated clothes. And I don't want you to have to go through that. That's not fair. Like to like buy a new dress, buy a new outfit, get all ready, you know, do your hair and do your makeup the way that you want to and, 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 and make an effort at looking and feeling your best and still look in the mirror and feel like, oh, 
I don't know why that's not working. I'll tell you why it's not working. Because the store sold you a dated item. It sold you a dated item. So that's my encouragement. That's why I want you to pick modern things. Because you're going to know something is off. But you might think it's off that you're off. And it's not you. It's the clothes. It's not you. It's the clothes. It's not you. It's the clothes. So I don't want you to buy the dated clothes. Because I know that when they come into your wardrobe, you're going to feel uh, like not, not so cute. Not so awesome in them. Um, so that's my encouragement. That's why this work is so important. That's why like training your eye and that that d discernment, like knowing the difference between something that's modern and something that's dated is important because if you put on dated clothes, you're not going to feel your best. And my goal is for you to show up as your best every single day. Okay, that's all. Love you guys. I'm trying to keep these a little shorter, but like I said, I'll be sharing a lot more examples. If you're on the fence about anything, hop into my Facebook group, tag me and share that item and I will give you a thumbs up or a thumbs down on it. And let's continue this conversation. Tomorrow, I'm going to talk about 10 things that you might need to purge from your wardrobe. 10, 10 like wear this, not that kind of things. Like instead of this, try this. Um, so that's what's going to be tomorrow on YouTube. And let's continue this conversation this week. Love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. I got some compliments on my hair. The tech is working. Love you guys. Have an amazing week. And um, if you have any questions, ask them in the comments and I will answer them um, in the comments. Love you guys.